Hi guys, it's Grady Groudon. We have a customer submission here of around about 100 cards. I think I'm sending free just to make it 100. Um, and we've got to move some cards about because we've got some duplicates and stuff like that. I never send duplicates from different senders in the same uh, in the same submission, just not to cause uh, mix-ups. Uh, if you want to check out grading your cards, please do visit gradygroudon.com and it's PSA grading service. So you've got the main page and the menus there and the button is here, you press that, you log in and you'll find the whole process of submitting your cards um, for the best, pos best possible price in the UK. Isn't that amazing? And the EU, I think. I haven't checked though. Um, right, so today we are showing off what cards we've had in. Um, when I do submissions, I try and touch the cards as little as possible. So if you put index tabs in or you've actually sent card saver ones or whatever, I, I try and keep them in the original sleeves and just make sure that the process of me receiving, getting them to PSA, there is no difference in the card quality. Uh, anyway, so we can start with Ross, who is The Collector's Vault on Instagram. Um, definitely go check him out. He's got a really interesting page, uh, interacts, and I think he'll be sending more. I think we had a discussion on some packs as well. So um, it's really cool that he's sending off with me, uh, as I think you're just quite new to our Instagram. So firstly, we start off with his Mega Charizard EX. And we got a Rotom Dex, Sun and Moon, a Switch. A Drampa GX, and these are Guardians Risings, an Aqua Patch, an Aqua Patch, a Max Potion, and then we have four Ancient Mews. I think you guys all know what an Ancient Mew looks like. Alright then, cheers. Thank you very much for that. That's 10 cards there. Oh, yep. Yeah. And also, he sent me an Alloinged Ninetales GX. I love this card. Um, and it is from, there you go, the Collector's Vault. Um, really cool. I really love the artwork of this. I've, um, I have I like all the Ninetales, actually, from Guardians Risings. I personally, I think it's the best card. She's a beauty. Right then. We continue on to Niraj. Or Nira, I'm so sorry. I'm destroying the punctuation of your name. Um, we actually, well, I always enjoy his comments. He basically comments on every single uh, video I put up. Um, and I didn't open these up on video because I wanted to make the video a bit shorter. But I can tell you, it was absolutely, <laughs> I was laughing my head off. He sent them in this. Just in case you can't read, it says yummy stuff. Um, and it is yummy stuff indeed, actually. So we've got a Charizard from base set. Got a Dark Blastoise from Team Rocket first edition. We got a Togetic first edition Neo Genesis. We got a Shining Magikarp Neo Rev. Neo, it is Neo Rev, yeah. Zapdos Legendary Collection Reverse Foil. Mewtwo EX Ruby and Sapphire. Jolteon EX Delta Species. I love this card. Um, it's a card I particularly like to be honest i like all of them the vaporeon ex as well um i can't remember if there's a flareon i think there is i think it might be a different set though but there that one is an espion gold star from pop series 5 pop 5 um these are extremely rare extremely valuable as well um so i really appreciate you sending this in uh it's a top card to feature on the channel and we can't wait to see it when it comes back then we got a japanese Charizard base, not CP6, the actual original, all the way back then. A Torchic Gold Star, looking beautiful. And then a Rayquaza promo, Pokemon Center. That looks gem. Let's have a look at this other Japanese. That looks pretty good as well. That one, mm, probably not going to get the gem, the Torchic. Probably the Mint 9. Oh, actually, there was a card in here that you really wanted, wasn't there, Ross? Um, was it? I think it was the Aqua Patch. Let's just have a quick look at this. Oh, it's close, mate. It is close. I'm going to say, be honest with you, though, it could definitely get the nine. It could. <laughs> All right, then. Then we move on to Joel's cards. Who sent in another Charizard base. Obviously, they're split up. Jolteon from Jungle, the Unlimited. 
could boot tops. I actually really think these foils are really clean. Um, and just to show how I do try and keep them in the original index tabs. I can't remember whether you sent in card savers or not, but never mind one way or the other. Togatich. Another Shining Magikarp. Dragonite from Expedition. Um, really cool card. And then also the Gengar, which I think is also a top card. You got us a Viper from Sandstorm. Just a regular hollow foil. Really cool artwork though. And then Skylar. Sorry, I just dismiss Skylar there. And a Mega Charizard EX. Yeah, wish you all the best with them. Now we've got some really special cards in here. A member on E4. If you're not on that E4 Pro Boards, get over there. It is the PSA Pokemon Collecting Dream. It's a forum just all about cards, basically. Um, and you'll pick up a lot of knowledge from there. I certainly have. Um, Chuck has sent in, that's his E4 username, uh, has sent in 10 cards. Now, two cards in here are especially special. Um, this is the Arcanine Charmander, an item finder. So I think... I mean, I think they only label these as the normal, um, but they all look gem to me. I'm not going to say they're going to come back gem, but they look gemish. And then we've got uh, a, a Dracufia. That's my awful French accent. Oh, a Dracufia. Um, Dance of Flame, Pouvoir Pokémon, Combustion, the Energy, uh, Il Bouton de Fondre, La Roche des Sons, Sauve Bouillante. That's just the writing at the bottom. It's the French Charizard. Um, we actually have a, a German Charizard over there as well. It's unlimited, but it looks pretty good on the back. It's definitely fading on the front, though. So I don't know. I, I don't know if it's fading or if it's bloody shadowless. I don't know. No, it can't be shadowless because the Hollow Four is faded. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, then we've got a Latias and a Latios from Verse Series. Really cool cards, those ones. Quite desirable as well. And then we have two really cool cards. An Entei and a Suicune. Japanese legend cards. But then these are the big hitters, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if you wanted to see top tier cards, here they are. You've got an Eevee 500 point, um, 500 point Masaki. Oh, I, I can't really say it. I know what it is. <laughs> uh, these are extremely rare. You, you had to fulfil to certain criteria over in Japan to be able to get this card, essentially. Um, yeah, so that's beautiful. And then this is the Victory Ring uh, card trainer. Top card right here. I mean, it's not... I don't think it's gem, if I'm being honest. Um... It could be gem, it could be, but I, I, I'm probably siding towards mint nine uh, on the Jap cards. But at two beautiful, highly rare, ultra rare, uh, high value, desirable cards as well. Uh, so thanks very much for testing the waters, and especially I've actually sent him a message. I was like, wow, what a first submission, because um, you know to trust me with those such high cards in first submission, it means a lot really. Right, we'll split this up. This is Sam's. He sent last time. Good buddy of mine. Uh, always goes for Dragonites. Uh, Chansey. He sent last time. He did really well last time. He actually did better than I predicted. Uh, Clefairy. Let's hope that's the case again, but definitely no guarantees on that. A Magneton. These are just regular base holofoils. foils. Mm, um, definitely increasing in popularity now, though, just to go for the original base. Got a Cafable, Aerodactyl 1st Edition, Dragonite 1st Edition, that's probably his top card, isn't it? Um, it does look good from the back, to be honest. It, it looks very good, actually. Ooh. How's the front looking? Got a bit of silvering on the left side. Mm, I, I don't know. You're probably looking at a nine there. I mean, maybe you can get better. I'm not sure. Uh, Gengar. Gengar again. Kabutops. And a Lapras. 
second stack. Got a Magneton, a Raichu, oh. <laughs> uh, another Raichu, Dragonite W Stamp promo, Black Star promo, and a Mouth Holofoil promo. Then these are the generations, like 20th anniversary promos. I don't, well, I don't know if they're promos, but they've got this little Pikachu symbol here. Uh, so you've got the Tangler, got a Ponytail, you've actually got two Ponytail. You've got Magikarp, I really like the look of that. Um, I think that's a really enjoyable card for sure. Artwork and all. We've got a Slowpoke. Two slow pokes. They're all hollow foils. I don't know if you'd call them reverse foils, but they're all hollow foil in the centre here. Geo dude, Clefairy. Then we've got a Pocket Monsters card. Uh, this is Dratini. I think it's really cool. How he's just uh, str or she is, or he. I don't know. It's just strangling the Charmander. There it just shows you how it can be an aggressive Pokemon because they're normally you know printed like My Little Pony. There's actually a Dratini behind us right here from legendary collection and you can see how it just looks a bit feeble uh, that is certainly not the case there is it then you've got an erica's venusaur a mrs garidos uh, and then some mario pikachu promos which you, you've probably all seen a million times uh yeah so thanks again uh, for sending another large submission. I know you were originally going for 20, but you sent 30 instead, so it really is appreciated. Uh, let's hope for top grades. Right, last but not least is Jeremy Payton. I believe I'm saying that. I am. Jeremy, bloody out of I english fired your name or what? Your name's Jonas. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, Jonas, hi, I've decided to try out grading cards through you, so let's see how that goes. Greetings, Peyton. Yes, let's see how it goes. And you have sent a few beauties away. Um, so what do we have? We have the Glurek. <laughs> uh, so you've got two German first edition Charizards. Two, ladies and gentlemen. These gym challenge things look really, things, cards, look really, really clean. Um, they're all first edition and they look pretty damn good. Um, so you've got the Blaine's Arcanine. You've got the Blaine's Charizard. That's an artwork to admire for sure. You've got the Brock's Nine's Tail. Just personally, um, I've always thought he looks, or she, or I keep, genderfying them um i always just feel like it's not the strongest artwork of nine tails just a personal opinion uh, i think there are cooler cards in the gym challenge set set for sure like this giovanni's gyarados um and the mash amp actually is quite a standout how he's coming at you he's gonna beat you up um you got the giovanni's nido king giovanni's persian now if you got that in a 10 um i know there would be interest I mean, look at that. I don't know whether you collect these or grading them to sell on. Either way, you know, it, that's pack pulled. Uh, and that is a beautiful card. It really is. Uh, Koga's Beedrill. Koga's Ditto. Uh, Surge's Raichu. I've got a PSA 10 first edition up on the store if you're interested in that one. <laughs> Shameless little plug. Uh, Mr. Golduck. Mr. Garidos. English variant. Rocket Mewtwo. Always love that guy. Rocket Zapdos. Another favourite from the set. Gym Challenge is definitely a very collectible set at the moment. Uh, Sabrina's Alakazam. You've actually got two of them. You've got a Blaine. The trainer. I, I know that these uh, stadium trainers are are very popular especially first edition uh, i had some psa 9 first edition cards of these i have got some unlimited sabrina and misty's up on the store psa 10 uh, but the first editions do go very quickly they're very popular koga sabrina probably my favorite uh trainer for the artwork you know you got the metal rings going on behind her uh, and then I don't know what the hell she's doing with her hands, but pretty cool little orb in the middle there. 
And then we kick on to some Neo Genesis stuff. stuff. So we've got the for, for Alligator, number five, which I personally think is more exciting than number four. Pichu, Skarmory, Slow King, and Togetic again. Uh, so thanks, Jonas. Really appreciated. Uh, so then guys, that is the massive big customer submission. It's my biggest one so far. Um, and we have another large submission actually coming from one customer. Uh, someone who suggested doing this whole thing in the first place. And I do appreciate that. Um, and so should you guys because uh, these ones are all going out to PSA. Again, check out the website if you want to get your cards graded in the UK or the EU. Um, we don't. I don't service for people living in the US. It makes completely no sense them sending cards to me from the US for me then to send cards to the US to get graded by PSA. Makes no sense at all. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Um, I, I'm also hoping to bring a new and improved uh, version of the grading service in a short period of time. So that's just a bit of news on that. Um, and very, very, very quickly, we have a booster pack special going on next month. I'll be sending out an email uh, next week. And I'll be getting in touch with some of you that send cards when you can. If you've got any booster packs, I'll be trying to work out the best price I can do it for. Because uh, I'd like to send some. And I know uh, Sam also wants to send one. Um, anyway, guys, cheers. Thanks again a lot. And uh, catch you later.